Okay, so there is so much prophecy coming to pass in Malachi chapter 2. Let's just cut to the chase. Judah has dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah has profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and has married the daughter of a strange God. What have they done to our fair sister? Ravaged and plundered and ripped her and bit her. Stuck her with knives in the side of the dawn and... Tied her with fences and dragged her down. I hear a very gentle sound. Malachi chapter 2 continues, verse 12. The Lord will cut off the man that does this, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacles of Jacob and him that offers an offering unto the Lord of hosts. With your ear down to the ground. We want the world and we want it. We want the world and we want it. Now. Jeremiah 8.8. 8. How do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. Now. Continuing in verse 9, the wise men are ashamed, they are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord, and what wisdom is in them? Therefore will I give their wives unto others, and their fields to them that shall inherit them. For everyone from the least unto the greatest is given the covetedness, from the prophet even unto the priest, everyone deals falsely. For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. In time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, says the Lord. Hell, bells ringing in my ear. It's certainly hot. The rhythm that swells. Now somebody's got a hold of those bells. They start to ring. They start to sing. And somebody yells. It must be hell to them. Malachi chapter 2 continues to drive in the point. Verse 15 and 16. And did not he make one, yet he had the residue of the Spirit, and wherefore one, that he might seek a godly seed? Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord, the God of Israel, says that he hates putting away, for one covers violence with his garment, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, that you deal not treacherously. Boop, 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 boop,
ぐる。